Hello gorgeous So welcome to Weekly Astrology. There's a lot going on this week as we have Mercury, the planet of communication, going into hidden and mysterious and super psychic Scorpio. We have a full moon in Aries. Can you feel your passions and your desires rising? Here's your Weekly Astrology. Hey fabulous Virgo. Oh, some exciting things happening for you this week. Firstly, Mercury, your ruler, goes into your communication zone. So you are zinging with the ideas. So many ideas are flowing through you. You've got so much to say. And going to be moments of brilliant, pockets of brilliance. And make sure that you capture some of the ideas. You're so on it this week, you might sort of just, you know, not bother to write it down and realise that there's some genius idea you've got. Also, you're brilliant at persuading people of, of anything you want, really. You're, you're super, super clever, and you can jump in there with just the right answer. Now, this full moon is seriously intense for you because it's in your primal zone. So all sorts of feelings are rising to the surface. You may find yourself feeling overwhelming and unexpected desire for something or someone. You might find yourself suddenly rageful or jealous or... or even paranoid so just be very very careful what you're doing with your energy on that full moon i mean in one of its positive aspects i suppose you could be feeling more passionate and have this desire rising and have the most wonderful sensual time but uh, it can bring out other emotions whatever primal emotions are going on for you they hit the surface on that full moon so you know on a plus side you're very aware of feelings that you've blocked and buried, you know? And most of the Virgos I know tend to block their emotions if you're a typical Virgo, or if you've got Virgo rising or moon in Virgo. There, there is this sort of feeling of, let, let me just, you know, I'm just gonna cut off and I'm gonna analyze what I'm feeling rather than allow it to come out. So it probably it's just like somebody's taking the lid off all of those emotions you've buried and they're right there. Now, here is the good news. Venus, the planet of love, is going into your sign, and that is good for many reasons. It can help you love bomb yourself so that you, you work on your relationship with yourself and you feel better about yourself. It, it really enhances all of your personal relationships. Other people are drawn to you. It's like the cosmos has doused you in love potion number nine. You have a vibe that people just sort of love being around this week. And it also it's an, a fresh start in your love life if you're interested in your love life. Um, but on top of that, Venus is also the planet of abundance. So you cannot go wrong with Venus in your sign. It, it's gonna help you in all ways. Let's see what the tarot has to say, my darlings. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Let us see what is going on. Yes, the star. There is great healing around you, a great sense of wonder, a great sense of creative inspiration. But you know, this card follows the tower in the major arcana. It's a time where, you know, after the storm, suddenly it's a bright new day. Suddenly we, we feel this sort of wonder and magic and that's all around you this week. And use that creative inspiration and allow the healing to come in. Beautiful card. You can't do better than, than the star. Um, and you've got the Ace of Wands. So you, you have action and passion in your spirit. The Ace of Wands is an ace. It's the pinnacle of fire, of passion, of energy. So there's a, you're rebooting. Your energy is rebooting. And you have not only the creativity, you have the passion and drive to get things done. And also it's the frisky the frisky one. Don't waste your energy arguing with yourself or second guessing yourself or doubting yourself. Trust in that creative flow. Trust in that passion that's coming through you and go onwards. Take care, gorgeous. Do visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L or Michelle Knight Astrologer on Facebook where I do lots of interaction and lives. So much love to you. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. MichelleKnight.com. I was a client of Michelle Knight, so I knew all of the, the psychics and they'd read for me. It's such a innovative and really useful organisation to have at your fingertips. There are a lot of people who they have an idea of what a psychic reading is, they have an idea of you know what a psychic should and shouldn't do, and a lot of it is from centuries gone by, you know, the, the carnival sideshow. And Michelle really has brought psychics into the modern world. 
Michelle Knight is a wonderful organisation to work for. It's a unique family and that is readers, the customer service operators. I know if I wanted to choose a reading, I know I wouldn't go to another company. The ethics, the standard, the professionalism that we keep really is second to none. To be honest, I've never really looked at another reader service because uh, I don't think I need to. When I finally got a job, I, I pray that I will do well with all the tests that we go through. I was absolutely delighted. Well, the process of uh, being employed with Michelle Knight was, wasn't an easy one, which is always makes it more rewarding when you do actually pass the, the four test readings that you have to go through before you're accepted. The interview process is actually reading for other people, reading for some of Michelle's staff as well. It's actually, you know, what they're looking for specifics. So surname, relatives, their names, they're looking for what happened two, three years ago in detail. To be sitting at home and then the phone rings and this beautiful distinctive voice, it's Michelle Knight here, I'm ringing you for my test reading, is on the other end of the line, is scary. She, she really wants to know that her clients are getting validations. You get a sense that everybody running it is on the ball. The flexibility we get as readers as well, it's just great. I do love the freedom of when I can work and when I can have a break. Michelle Knight family are amazing, really flexible, very supportive. It's like working for no other. It's authentic, that's a big thing, it's authentic. She genuinely cares about her readers and about the people that we read for, so it's inclusive. I love working for michellenight.com. They're great people, it's a great energy there. She really cares about her readers getting the best and she really cares about the clients coming and walking away, you know, and feeling like they got what they came for. Working with Michelle Knight, I know that I've got professional backup and I know that the clients are looked after very well as well. Michelle's very involved with her readers personally. If you need information, you need anything from her, she will reply personally. I just love being part of a unique team, one of the most unique companies that, that I've ever come across.